Hi everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at 0A.4, which is solving systems of elimination. This should be very familiar to you and it's most people's favorite way to solve a system. So elimination, you're thinking about how, am I can, how I can eliminate a variable in order to solve. So first, you want to make sure that you have your equations written in standard form. So that's ax plus by equals c. Sometimes people think of that as the variables on one side, number on the other. You're looking to eliminate a variable by multiplying one or both equations by a constant and combining. So I'm going to show you what that means right now. So when I'm looking for how I'm going to eliminate, I'm looking for same coefficient opposite signs. for one given variable. So if you have the same coefficient opposite signs, that means that you can eliminate them very easily. So if you notice here, we have a 4x and a negative 5x. Those have opposite signs, but they're not the same coefficient. 6y and 3y are neither the same coefficient or opposite signs. So that's all we're looking at here. So since nothing is already same coefficient opposite signs, we're looking to multiply one or both equations in order to have that appear. So what I notice here is that if I multiply three by two, I get to six, and that's an easy way to get to the same coefficient. Now I also want opposite signs, and these are both positive. So I'm gonna multiply this bottom equation by a negative two. So you can't just multiply one thing by the negative two, you have to multiply the entire equation so that you have an equivalence. So three is gonna turn into negative six when you multiply it by negative two. So my top equation isn't gonna change at all, so I'm gonna keep it for x plus six y equals 26. My bottom equation is going to change and I'm going to distribute the negative two. So this becomes 10x minus 6y equals two. Now what you notice here is you now have that same coefficient opposite signs in these y's. So at this point, I can combine the two equations by adding down, and that's how I'm going to get to that elimination. So when I add down, 4x plus 10x is 14x, 6y plus negative 6y, that goes away, or is 0y, and 26 plus 2 is 28. So now I have one simple equation with one variable. And at this point, I can solve for x. So this is step C, where it says solve for one variable. So if I divide by 14 on both sides to get rid of that 14 and have the x alone, I get to x equals 2. So there's my first variable. Now at this point, you use the exact same steps from substitution in order to solve for the second variable. So I take this x equals two and I plug it into one of my two original equations. So I'm gonna use the top one. So I have four x and instead of x, I replace it with the two plus six y equals 26. Four times two is eight plus 6y equals 26. I'm solving, so I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. And I have 6y equals 18. And if I divide by 6 on both sides, I get y equals So 
So my full solution is two comma three. Now, just like in substitution, I can check that solution by plugging it into each equation. So four X, so four times two plus three plus six Y, so six times three should equal 26. So does eight plus 18 equal 26? That is true. So I know my answer is correct there. And then I go to the next equation and I use the original equation. So negative five times two plus three Y. So plus three times three equals negative one. Negative five times two is negative 10 plus three times three is nine equals negative one. So that gives me negative one equals negative one. So now I know my solution is correct. So I'm gonna do one more example here. And I'm actually gonna scoot down to number 10 below because that's a different, different process a little bit in the sense that you can't just multiply one equation, you're gonna to need to multiply both equations. So in this equation, in this situation, this system, we only had to multiply the bottom equation because three goes into six. So three goes into six by a multiple of two. In the bottom, number 10, Three and two, neither one goes into each other. And two and seven, neither one goes into each other. So I now need to make a decision which variable I want to deal with. Now, personally, I like three and two more than I like seven and two, just for number's sake. I can keep the number smaller if I choose two and three. So I go to two and three. And I'm, I, I sometimes in class, I call this tradesies because I'm just gonna multiply them by each other. So I'm gonna multiply the top equation by three and the bottom equation by two, because I know I can get both of them to equal six. There are situations where you don't do the trades, but the, the trades will always work if you need it to. So I'm gonna multiply my top equation by three and my bottom equation by two. That'll get them both to be equal to 6x, but remember, you need same coefficient opposite signs. So you need to choose one of these two equations to be negative. So I'm just going to choose the top one. You could choose the bottom one. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to make the top one be multiplied by negative 3, because then I know this top one will be negative 6x, and the bottom will be positive 6x. So now I would have the same coefficient opposite sign. So I'm going to go through and do that. So I've got negative 6x plus 21y equals 30. Notice I multiplied every single piece, all three pieces, by that negative 3. Bottom one is going to turn into 6x plus 4y equals 20. So at this point, now that I've adjusted both, I see my same coefficient opposite signs. And I'm going to add down by combining the two equations. So when I add negative 6x plus 6x goes away, and I end up with 25y equals 50. I divide by 25 and I get y equals two. From here, I take that two and I plug it into one of the two up here. So I need to choose which one I want. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I just need to choose which one looks prettier to me. I choose the bottom one. Three x plus two y equals 10 feels comfortable to me. It feels more comfortable than the top one. So I'm gonna go with that. So 3x plus 2y, but then instead of y, I'm writing in 2 because that's what y equals, equals 10. So I chose this bottom equation here. So 3x plus 4 equals 10. So 
subtract four from both sides. 3x equals six. And if I divide by three on both sides, I get x equals two. So now I know my full solution is just two comma two. And at this point you go back and you check your answer by plugging in two comma two into both sides. So this would give me two times two is four minus seven times two is 14. So four minus 14 equals negative 10. Perfect. Three times two is six, two times two is four, six plus four is 10. Perfect. So that's your examples of elimination. Take your notes, be prepared for class and answer your questions.